Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we're going to do something a little different since the Kronos High Speed Camera is still out being upgraded. Sent it out a week ago to Canada and I hope to get it back in a week, maybe two weeks. Recently I was up in my attic getting something down for my wife and I saw this old spam can that I forgot <laughs> I had put up there nearly 20 years ago, believe it or not. But what we have is a very crusty, corroded uh, can of 7.62x39 Chinese military surplus ammunition. Now I bought this ammunition around 1991 along with a you know another one that came in a wooden crate. Now the entire crate of ammunition cost around eighty dollars and a little bit to ship it and it was very heavy I think it the entire crate weighed around 75 pounds and when I could afford it I bought a case here and a case there because I had just bought a SKS and then I also bought an MAK-90. Now you have to remember this is pre-internet days. I know a lot of you don't even know what that is, but if you wanted to buy a gun or ammunition or whatever, you picked up a periodical called Shotgun News. And it was about as thick as a phone book and it came out every month. Now I don't re recall if there was actually any news in Shotgun News because you bought the periodical for the advertisements and there was hundreds of different dealers competing with each other and offering just a crazy variety of fantastic military surplus at incredible prices. Now, this was truly in my lifetime the golden age of buying military surplus stuff like this. Um, I wish I could go back in time and buy some more of this stuff. I bought what I could afford, just got out of college and didn't have that much extra money to spend, even with these low prices. But now you understand the history of how I got this can, how much I paid for it and all that. Um, I, Since it was um, made in 1970, I wanted to wait till it was 50 years old to open it. Uh, but I kind of think that YouTube's not going to be around in two more years. Uh, it's The way it's going, it's, it's just crazy. I think in two years it's going to be nothing but uh, uh, music videos, gaming videos, and l those life hack videos where people take 9 volt batteries, toothpaste, and cigarette lighters and do amazing things with it, right? Okay, enough about the depressing stuff. Let's, let's open this can up and see what kind of shape that ammunition is. I don't re even remember how many rounds are in this. Um, it could be on stripper clips or it could be just... Uh, you know, like 10 or 20 rounds wrapped in paper. I'm not even sure. I don't remember. But I do remember buying 1,200 round cases that were on stripper clips. And I also remember, I believe it was 1,440 rounds that wasn't on stripper clips. Some of it was steel core, some of it was lead core, some was corrosive, and some was non-corrosive. I don't even know what we have here.
Well, inside that ammo can were 36 of the 20 round bundles. So at the time I paid less than six cents a round for this ammunition. Now at the time I bought this, this ammunition was being flooded into the country by the shipload, just container after container full of this ammunition. And uh, I'm sure there's billions of rounds out there still. Now as far as the quality of this Chinese ammunition goes, it was made extremely well. I shot thousands of rounds of this stuff and never had a dud, never had a bad primer, squib, anything like that. It all functioned perfectly. I mean, some of that imported uh, 223 or 556 you can buy today, you just can't say that. It, I've gotten a lot of bad primers and duds from even the most modern stuff that you can buy today. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little sentimental journey. It kind of gave me some flashbacks of better times when uh, stuff like this wasn't banned and it wasn't uh, restricted or anything like that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.